All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to price your item. Uh, there's usually two strategies when it comes to pricing. You can either be the cheapest, or you can sell more expensive, but offer value in other ways. Now, most sellers, and especially newbie sellers, and I've fallen for the same trap before, where you think the only way that you can sell your product is to sell the cheapest and be the cheapest. And while yes, that strategy does work, you're probably gonna get a lot of sales. If you're the cheapest, you'll probably get the most sales. But by being the cheapest, most sales does not mean the most profit. Because if you're paying, say, $5 for an item, and then you're selling it for, say, $6, by the time you've got the fees and the postage and all that stuff, you may even be at a loss. So the idea is, is to sell our, our item at the highest price that we possibly can and still make a decent amount of sales. And we do this by adding value to our listings. We make our listings stand out. We go above and beyond what the competition are doing. We put better photos in. We put better description in. We give better terms. Uh, and by doing this, we can then sell the exact same item, but for a lot higher price and then actually make a decent profit. I see so many comments from people saying, Kev, I've, I've looked on, on eBay to sell stuff and there's no money in it. But he's only looking at the people that are selling it at the cheapest. If you look at those selling at the cheapest, they never make any money because they're always fighting each other. One dude goes cheaper, then the next dude goes cheaper, then he undercuts him, the next person undercuts him. It's just a race to the bottom. In the end, nobody makes money. And then people just even sell stuff at a loss just to get rid of it. And you keep doing that for too long, you're gonna go out of business. The only time I would sell something for cheap, two scenarios. One, if you just wanna get rid of your stuff, you tried selling it and it's not selling. That particular product isn't selling too well. You just wanna get rid of it and, and get, get some of your money back or whatever, you just want it gone. Uh, then, then you can sell it cheap. The other scenario is, is eBay uses a ranking system. Uh, you know, if, when you put your item on eBay, you wanna rank it near the top on the first page. And the better your listing is, the more sales your listing makes. Uh, basically, the, the more money that you make for eBay, the higher they're gonna put that listing up in the ranks. And one metric that eBay look at, one of the main ones, is how many of that item is selling. Like, maybe not total, but like regularly. So, you know, if you're selling like a couple of these every day, for example, versus somebody that's only selling one a week, you're going to get above that person. If you're selling like 20 a day, you're going to get above that person. Uh, so one way that you can rank your item to come higher up, you can put the price down and sell it cheap, maybe even at a loss. Sometimes I use it as a listing strategy where, like, where I'll sell stuff at a loss or, or break even if I can. Uh, sometimes, not, not normally I make a profit off the bat, but sometimes if it's an item that I'm trying to compete with more people, I'll sell it at, at like a break-even point or maybe a slight loss just to make a load of sales, uh, get that item ranked near the top, and then we can put the price up. But then in order to maintain sales, we have to have a good listing. We need good photos, we need a good description, we need a good title, uh, and all this stuff. I haven't got time to go into this in this video. We're gonna jump into my computer in a sec, and I'm gonna show you some stuff on there, how to, how to find prices. Uh, but I'll go into this in great detail in, in my 11-step eBay Power Seller Blueprint course. There's a link to that course down below. Um, and I'll go into this in great detail is how you, how you add value uh, to your listings, how you make your listings stand out and how to get your listings ranked to the top of the site uh, and then how ultimately you can sell your product at a higher price than the competition so you're making more money. Because we're in, we're in this game to make money. We're not in this game to give all our, our stuff away for free. So, you know, I see many people sometimes agree with me, like beginners, and so you've got to be the cheapest. No. Half of the buyers out there, 50% of the buyers, they're going to go out there and they're just going to want to buy the cheapest. Well, forget about those customers. You, 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 you can never serve the whole entire world. You need to pick like a, a certain niche audience. Uh, so half the people are going to want to buy the cheapest. The other half of the people, they're normally going to see a product and if they're happy with it, they're just going to buy it. They're not going to hunt around too much to find the ultimate cheapest, especially on cheaper stuff. I mean, I like focusing on products that don't cost too much, that, that cost maybe under $5 to buy, under £5, something like that. And products that you can sell in that price range, um, like under, sort of around about 10 15 £20, $20, people don't tend to to spend hours trying to find the cheapest item. If they come across an item and it looks good and they're happy, um, they're probably gonna buy it without looking around too much. 
So um, let's jump into my computer uh, and I'm going to show you how I set my prices and my little strategy that I use so that we can make the most, not the most sales, but the most profit per item. We need to find the right balance. Uh, so let's jump into the PC and then I'll carry on waffling over there. So saying, for example, we want to sell this item here. It's just like a model plane for a kid, uh, like a foam glider. So we got this product or, or we're looking at this product. Maybe we haven't got it yet. We're just looking at this product. We're doing some product research. We want to know if it's worth selling this product or we've already got the product. and We want to know what best price to put it at. Uh, so first of all, I want to do a little bit of research on eBay and just see what people are selling this stuff for. So I'm just gonna open a new window there and we're just gonna search for foam glider. Uh, so the particular one that I wanna look at is this one here. And there's actually quite a few people on here that are selling these. And they seem like quite a popular pro uh, product. He sold 59, this dude here has sold over 320. Uh, we've got a few competitors selling the exact same thing. That's not always a big deal. And I'll show you why in a minute. So what I want to do is, I mean, if you want to know selling it the cheapest, that's easy. You come up to the top here and you just put in price, including postage and packaging, lowest price. So that's easy. So we just scroll down until we find this one here, well this is from China, so for example from China, we want to ignore those products, we just want to look at products which are local to us. So what you want to do is come down this side here and you want to select UK only, or you know if you're America, America only. Uh, basically you just want to select on the, on, you know, click on your local uh, area, because people are going to be wanting to buy locally, you know, whatever country you're from, they're not as much going to be wanting to buy from China. So if somebody in China is massively undercutting you, it's not a big deal, doesn't, doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter at all. So we scroll down here until we find the product that's the exact same one. And did I just see it there? Uh, there, or oh, it's multi-listing, so we ignore that one. Uh, so this dude here, he's selling it at £4.50. So we could say, oh, all right, we're going to sell it at £3.99 or, or $3.99. So, and you're probably going to make some sales doing it that way. But what you want to do is you want to be one of the most expensive sellers that are actually making sales. So what you want to do, you want to see uh, what products are actually selling and what they're sold for. So we come down here and we're going to, we're going to select sold items. And what that's going to do, that's going to do a search on eBay and it's going to come up with all the items that are actually selling. And when it's in green, it means they've sold. If it's in black, it means they haven't sold. Uh, so these have all sold. So what I want to do now is I want to select price highest first. So now this is going to show us the items that have sold that are the most expensive. But again, we've got to scroll down because a lot of these are completely different products. You've got to, you've got to use the same product or it's not fair. So we go down, go down, go down. Uh, so this dude here, he's selling them for $9.99. And he sold 26. So if we click on there, we can see how often he's selling them. And it's coming up with all the dates here. Uh, when this dude's selling them. So he's selling around about one, two, three, four, five a month. So it's it's not a killer product, uh, but he's making sales. He's making one or two sales a week, which is pretty good on average. You know, not all products are going to sell multiples every single day. Some products you're just going to sell one a week, and that's fine. So it's not the hottest of selling items, but it's a good example, and it's definitely an item that I would sell, even if, even if I can sell one item a week, or even if it's one item a month. It's still not bad because we can have multiple different products. There's no limit how many of these items and products that we can have on eBay. We can have thousands and thousands of listings. And if we're only selling like one of each every week and you've got a thousand listings, that's still a thousand items that you're selling a week. Uh, so, you know, some items are going to sell a lot better than others. Some items are going to sell uh, less. So this looks like kind of like an average item. Not the best, but it's not the worst. Definitely one that I would do though because I can definitely see potential here. So, okay, so let's come out of that. And so now I just wanna see how much we can actually buy this product for. So we go over to AliExpress, which is one of the sites that I go to, uh, to buy stuff. So we're just gonna put in here, foam glide, I can't spell. Foam glider and boom, right away, something here's come up. And, well, these are cheap. 
One pound twenty-five, including shipping. That's about one dollar fifty, including shipping. Forty-eight centimetre one. So that's the same as this one here. Forty-eight centimetre. Uh, quickly looking at it, it looks like the exact same product. So wow, guys, this is actually a product that I would definitely do. And um, now that I've put it on the on uh, YouTube, probably probably a load of people are going to do it. And it's not going to be worth doing anymore. But in any case, it's definitely a product that looks like it's worth doing. So we go back into eBay. We see what other people are selling these for, and you know they are selling at round about the nine pounds sort of range. And and this is what people are actually selling them for. So. I would price this product probably a little bit cheaper than what the highest one's selling for. So he's selling it at $9.99. I'll probably start this item at like, say, $8.99 maybe. Maybe even $9.49, something along that, those lines. Just to be a little bit cheaper than the person that's selling these at the highest price. Um, and, and just see how they sell. Now, as I said before, I would lower the price right down to make a lot of sales off the bat. If, if you list this for like, say, nine pounds, nine pounds 49, and they're not selling, then by all means, I would lower that price down, maybe sell them for, say, 5.99, and um, get some sales in, get the volume in, uh, get the item ranked, and then, then we put our prices up. And if we look at this dude here, uh, where is he again? The listing we looked at before, this one here. So if he's selling these at 9.99, uh, we want to have a look to see if we can actually improve on this listing. If we can make improvements on this listing, uh, then we know that provided we've got our item ranked, we should be able to make more sales than this dude here. Uh, so, you know, the person playing the cheap game, he, just, he doesn't care about all that. He's just putting the price to the cheapest and he's hoping for the best. If we want to aim for the higher price, we need to add value. We've got to make a better listing. So I can see straight away here from the main picture, we can definitely make a better picture. I mean, this looks bland. The colours aren't there. We can definitely make this picture pop a lot more. This writing here is very small. Uh, you're not really, by eBay uh, policy, you're not supposed to put writing uh, inside your listing photos. But many people do it. I do it sometimes. And um, I've never had a problem. I don't think they really police it. Uh, so sometimes I'll put a thing in there saying UK seller. And that can kind of boost a few sales. Uh, so we can definitely improve the photo here. Uh, he's offering free postage. He's doing fast postage as well, so we can't really improve there. Uh, this description area, oh yeah, we can definitely improve on this description area. This is a mess. This is an absolute mess in here. So we can, it's all shifted over there. It's, all, it's not even central. I mean, he's made a complete mess of that. He's put these here to the left-hand side. He's put all this lot here central. Sentences that are super long. Nobody's going to read all that. It's a complete mess. So we can make this a lot better. We can make this title here better. It's just, it doesn't look easy to read. I mean, this bit here is good, if it's true what he's saying. It's got the size here. These I would make into bullet points, and I would make them all so that they're all uh, sort of starting off at the left-hand side, all in bullet points so they're easy to read. This is all mixed up. It's a right mess. Uh, these pictures here that he's got in the description, I mean, I would make these bigger and put them in the centre, sort of in line with the text. And these pictures, he's probably stolen these from the supplier. I mean, if you go over to the supplier websites, uh, you can just pinch these photos here. They're easy to copy them onto your computer. Just click on it, drag it over, drop it on your desktop, and you've copied it, and you can use these pictures in your listings. So, yeah, so there we have it. So, in a nutshell, guys... Uh, to sum it all up, you want to be the most expensive person making actually sales. Uh, and you've got to find the right balance because saying, saying we get this product for, say, £1.25, uh, then my little way that I use to, to set my minimum price is I want to double double the purchase price. So £1.25 would be £2.50. And then I want to add on what the shipping's going to be. This looks a little bit thicker than normal. Uh, so I'd, I'm guessing the shipping on this is going to be about £3. Uh, so we want to be selling this at £5.50 cheapest. That's the cheapest rock bottom we want to sell this at. And we're still going to make a fairly good profit. So the dude that's selling this at 9 99 he's making like a massive, massive markup on this. Uh, so we want to obviously find the balance where we make the most money but still make a lot of sales. If you sell it at 9 99 you might find, you, like this other dude, you might just be selling sort of like four or five a month. If you knock a pound off, maybe sell it for eight ninety nine. You might find that you double your sales and make a lot more profit. So you're gonna have to play about with it a little bit and find the best balance.
So if we have a look at this dude here, he's selling them for £6.99. So he's still selling them over what my minimum price would be. He's still making a healthy prof uh, profit, but he's actually selling a lot. Look at this. Look how many he sold. Uh, so, you know, you can experiment with the price. I'm not saying be the most expensive, uh, but you definitely don't want to be the cheapest. You've got to find that balance. Uh, where you're going to sort of get the most amount of sales, but at the highest price to where you make the most profit overall. Uh, but, you know, as I said before, if you're going to be the ultimate cheapest, you're going to be messing about with, with almost no margin at all. I've seen people on there selling these for sort of about the same price as what it costs to get them. You know, by the time you paid eBay fees, shipping and all of that, there's no money left. And unless you're using it as a strategy to get ranked, uh, I wouldn't play that game at all because you're not going to make any money. You're just going to put yourself out of business. Uh, so I hope this video's helped. Uh, I'll go into all of this stuff in great detail in the 11 step blueprint program. There's a link to that program down below. You know, I haven't got enough time to go into all of this in great detail. I mean, this is rushed. Uh, I've got to try and keep these videos. I mean, this video's already gone on for like 16 minutes or so. Uh, so I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible, but trying to cram as much information in here as possible for you. I mean, once you're in the program, the program's all in video format, similar to these sort of videos like this. Uh, but I spend more time going over everything in a lot more detail. I've even got uh, some uh, summary points underneath each video. Where I bullet point everything so you can come back for quick reference. And it's all in a step-by-step -step guide. A lot easier to follow. A lot easier to follow through and a lot easier to take action. Uh, so these, these YouTube videos here, they're just aimed just to give you a little bit of insight. Help you starting to make some sales. Uh, if you really want to take this game like seriously, maybe you want to quit your job, you want to make this your full-time job, you want to make thousands every month. You know, I've helped hundreds of people now and I've got many of those people making thousands every single month that are in on this uh, blue print, print program. Uh, so click on the link down below. If you want that better life, that better life is out there. You know, I used to have crappy jobs. I used to be a welder. I used to be a truck driver. I've had all those jobs that were like depressing uh, on a minimum wage and I wasn't going anywhere in life. And it's only now that I started working for myself and, and learning from the right people that I've now turned my life around and I can have to nice of things in life. Uh, so, you know, and that can be, anybody can do this. You know, I'm not, I haven't got a super high IQ level. The difference with me is that I take action and I learn from the right people. And, you know, anybody can do this. You just got to have the right mindset. You've got to be willing to learn and you've got to be willing to take action. Uh, and then, you know, if you stick with it, eventually, this sort of stuff's going to work out for you. You know, if you're the sort of person that gives up on the first hurdle, this is not going to work. You know, in business, you've got to solve problems. You always come across obstacles. You always come across hurdles. Um, and those that just get tripped up on the first hurdle and they give up and they walk away, those are the one that fails. So, you know, my saying is always, sometimes we win, sometimes we learn. You only fail when you quit and quitting is a choice. Uh, so that is it for this video, guys. The better life is out there. You know, anything you want in life it is out there. And it, it, the only thing stopping you from ha having it is you taking action.